what else do we want to deal with in the architectural model? Well, something you may notice on a lot of plans is we get this dashed line around some of the doors. Here's a dashed line. Uh, not all of them. This one doesn't have it. But some doors have this dashed line. Well, it can clutter up our drawing. Um, depends on how picky you or your architect are going to be about it. But if you want to get rid of that, that is typically a in the a door category. So let's go back to our view template and deal with the Revit link. Deal with the custom. And this door is actually a model category, not annotative like the grid. Model category, again, we have to tell it that we want custom. And now go down to doors. Expand the door category to get subcategories. And here's a couple called an ADA clearance and ADA clearances. Looks like they have two that are similar. That dash is really an ADA clearance. So let's uncheck those ADA clearances to not show. Okay, okay, okay. And there, that dash line is gone. Now you can do things um, like you can turn off trees. Um, you know, in this architectural Revit, you have to dig deep here. The Revit model categories, there's so many things. Careful, you don't turn off things you need, like ceilings, but you can turn off furniture, you can turn off um, parking, you can turn off planting. There's many things you can turn off, you know, hide. Just remember that it's going to apply to that view and to every plan that uses that view template. But that's how you can easily turn things on and off in the architectural model once you've disconnected it from our model with by going custom. Okay, so those are two things we've got changed.